Top dollar, 11,000, just like that. But is it just like that? I don't have the diamond Cartier bracelets yet, but maybe if I start scamming people, I can upgrade. But regardless, let's dive in. Welcome back, everyone. It's been a while, but this is a highly requested video, as, as all the videos that I do are pretty highly requested. This is a follow-up to my previous video, Exposing the Slot Gurus of the Community. So if you didn't watch that, I would say to probably go and watch that one before you dive into this new one. In this video, I'm going to be diving back into D. Lucky Slots and his new experience. Previously, he was selling slot tips, but now he has elevated things and he is selling something called an experience. So in this experience, which is $1,795, the price has gone up. Uh, what's included, you get a thumbs up photo, a swag bag, and a meet and greet with D. Lucky. Um, but what's really happening here is that he's essentially promising you that you're going to win on a slot machine. But in addition to the $17.95 that you have to pay to meet him, you must bring a minimum of $1,000 up to $5,000 that you're going to put it into a slot machine that he tells you to. And you're either going to win or you're going to lose. You know, everyone here that is an educated person knows that you could win on a slot machine or you could lose in a slot machine. Most likely, he has a lot more losers that do this experience than he does winners. And obviously, only the winning videos make it up onto his social media platforms because he's not going to post the losing videos because why would people want to buy the experience if he's selling a dream here? He's selling a dream that you're going to win big with him because he's lucky or he knows the machines. And we all know this is just ridiculous. And I, I'm not here to explain to you that it's a gamble because it is called gambling. I, I'm here to dive into some other things. So you're going to pay him $17.95 and then you're going to bring between $1,000 and $5,000 and you're going to do this experience with him where you get 10 or 15 minutes and hope that you win. But he has been running some specials because just, you know, around the holidays, companies run specials and he, I guess, is a company. So he was running a Thanksgiving special and today he is actually running a Cyber Monday special. His Cyber Monday special is $12.95, so it's $500 off and you get an extra 10 minutes. This is good for two years. It expires 11:25 of 2024. You can give it as a gift, and he will only sell a thousand of those. Once it's sold out, there won't be any more. What I do find fascinating is in my previous video, I told you that D Lucky was buying Instagram followers. Looking at his most recent history on social, it appears that he has uh, not bought in subscribers in, in a while now. And because obviously, when you buy fake subscribers, they're bots and they eventually just you know, the accounts get closed or whatnot. It seems like his account is losing more followers than it actually is gaining followers. Except with, uh, it looks like in June, he bought 100,000 subscribers on one day. And then the following day, he lost 4,200. Um, so we really don't even know what type of following D Lucky really has because he's buying quote unquote success. So we don't know how many followers he has on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. We don't know what's real. We don't know what's not real. Because once someone buys their success or they, they attempt to buy their success, we don't really know the truth anymore. But I will say that when he goes live, he only gets a couple of hundred people watching him. And for an account that has 5.3 million followers, you would think that he would have more than a couple of hundred people watching him but I'm not sure. So I have searched high and low for people that have done the D Lucky experience that wanted to talk to me about it. And D Lucky is not stupid. He makes people sign an agreement, essentially a, a, an NDA of sorts, 
And even when you go to his website, his terms of service is just insane. I don't know what type of attorney would have drafted something like that because it is not legal. He's saying that uh, you waive criminal activity. You can't waive criminal activity. If you committed a crime, you committed a crime. It's it's just insanity. So his terms of service is rubbish, which I'm sure his NDA is. But I did find two users on TikTok that have um, posted about their experience. And, um, you know, there's not that many views on the video. So I think that we need to watch these together and, and then talk about it. So let's dive into the first person i think it's time for a story time so the way you book d lucky is you go online and you book him for a fee i paid 1500 this was a couple months ago or announced 1800 what that includes is a 15 minute experience so i booked him for 11 11 you know angel numbers good luck numbers so what happens is the day before somebody would text you and say hey lead me over here you gotta sign papers so you go over there you sign the papers and they tell you okay tomorrow morning you're gonna get a text message about the location so in the morning i got a text it's gonna doesn't that seem like why why can't i know the location now it's it's it already like seems super shady because it is it's essentially illegal what's being done but let's continue resorts and it says to wait in the food court until you're called wait in the so food court court, i look around and you can definitely tell who are the people waiting to see the lucky they're all like ready mind you out of eight of them six of them were local people then i'm instructed to go to the cashier and get three to five one thousand dollars tickets three to five one thousand but his website says you could do a minimum of a thousand, but now he's telling people between three and five. Okay. Thousand dollar tickets. So finally I'm called. This guy brings me over to the high limits. Then he passed me off to another guy who brings me into the high limits. Then he passes me off to another guy who shows me what machine I'm going to play on. Then he tells me, D Lucky's going to be with you in a minute. So I look around and I see him. D Lucky is like chilling, feet up on the slot machine, on his phone, not a care in the world, chilling. So I meet him, he does the whole thing. Oh, tell me your name, where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. So I do all of that and we sit at a top dollar machine. Thousand dollar ticket, nothing. Second thousand dollar ticket, nothing. Third thousand dollar ticket, nothing. And he's like, Can you come back tonight at six o'clock? And I said, I can. I'm going to the post Malone concert. And he looks at me, he's like, Oh, okay. And walks away. Just walk to it. So my heart is broken. So I'm walking out and I see the family in front of me. I talk to them. They want nothing. They talk to the people in front of them. Nothing. The people in front of them. Nothing. While we're talking, we're waiting. Another group comes out. Nothing. Another group comes out. Nothing. But here's my question to this guy. Why did you need to pay D. Lucky $1,500 to do this? You could have walked into the high limit room with your $1,000 tickets and done the same thing. So... If you listen, if you consider him that much of a celebrity, that you feel that fifteen hundred dollars was worth it to take a photo with him, then okay, there's your there's your explanation. But I really don't think that that's what you were expecting. You were expecting to win with this guy, which you were proven, and and all these other people prove that it doesn't happen like just like that. So this was an interesting video. That this guy posted on TikTok. And then I have another video kind of similar from someone else on TikTok that I also want to show you. Okay, we're at the El Cortez. We just uh, met up with B Lucky. We got our experience tonight at 8.15 p.m. at the win. So uh, this is uh, to see if it's real or our fake. We're about to see. What do you think? Is it the real deal? Real deal. Hey, man. We'll come back tonight, but it's time to expose and see what's going on. Man, so we got the confirmation was at the win to be there 30 minutes early. Just waking up to get ready, and we get a text saying, change of plans. It got switched to El Cortez. If anybody knows Vegas, they know El Cortez on Fremont is trash, and nobody wins there. So why are you going to move us from a billion dollar hotel to that? Guess we're going to see. We're ready. Headed to El Cortez. See if it's really just like that. You think it's going to be just like that? Guys got the hat on and everything. Right. 
There's his two thousand dollar vouchers. Hey, how was your D lucky experience? Hey, man, not guaranteed. So can't be mad as part of fucking gambling. And basically, what he's trying to say is, hey, we didn't hit nothing, not a damn dollar. Is it? Hey, I will say he hooked it up with drinks. It was open bar, but fuck, man. Yeah, D Lucky experience got us zero dollars. In fact, we lost fucking everything. So, to all the people that wondered if it was real or not real, at least for us, it wasn't real. You know, it's just an it's just another delusional person. What do you mean if it's real or if it's not real? It's it, he he's nobody when it comes to winning on a slot machine. He's no different than me. Or, or a random person off the street that you give $1,000 to and say, put it in this machine. Uh, I don't know what these people are expecting from D. Lucky. It's just sad. And then he lost another $2,000 thinking that he was going to win. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Give me money. So if anyone watching this video has done the D. Lucky experience and they want to uh, come on and talk about it, um, I might do another video. I might not. You never know what will happen down the road. But if you were part of the D Lucky experience and you can prove that you were part of the D Lucky experience, um, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at easylifeslotjackpots at gmail.com. D Lucky has recently posted about his $250,000 slot tournament, which he is hosting at the win. December 16th and December 17th. I have to be honest, I thought that this was fake, but it is not fake. It is on the WINS website. It is a $250,000 slot tournament hosted by D Lucky with a grand prize of $100,000 cash. It is uh, going to cost you $3,500. You will get uh, two, two nights in one of their rooms and a buy in for one person. Uh, there's the prize structure. It does say that um, prize structures are based on 100 people, and they need a minimum of 90 people, um, I guess, for the event to even happen. Um, so if there's 90 people, maybe the grand prize won't be 100, or maybe they'll lower the prizes for 41st through 100th place. I'm not really sure. They don't really list that in the terms of service. So he is holding this slot tournament at the win which i am really surprised that the win did not do their due diligence and looked and and seen what he is conducting the business that he's conducting in their casinos charging people to gamble i don't know if everyone knows this or not but the cosmopolitan when they found out about him he has now from what i've been told he's been banned from all mgm properties in vegas or he can't record there or live stream or whatever he was doing and then they actually stopped live streaming and recording for all slot channels and now they have recently bought it back and there's apparently a special team in vegas that will essentially vet out a channel and then give them approval or not but from what i'm told d lucky does not have approval anymore to go to any mgm properties and it's pretty bad on the win that they are promoting him this way as and you have to think out of all these people that are going to be doing this tournament how many people are going to do the experience so they're going to get double banged they're going to pay for this $3,500 package for a slot tournament then he's going to charge them $1,700 unless they bought it on Cyber Monday $1,500 and then they have to bring do, I don't know, is it a thousand? Is it two thousand? Is it three? We don't know because it changes from person to person. It's really sad. Uh, shame on the win for not looking into him and seeing what he's conducting. And I, it, I don't even know if this is legal in, in the state of Nevada, what he's doing. It doesn't seem like he's charging people sales tax either. I'm not really sure about the tax repercussions and all of that stuff and his reporting. That's a whole nother mess. Leave a comment. Let me know. A lot of people have said that I never showed what D-Lucky looks like. Well, this is D-Lucky. 
at a basketball game. I believe it's the um, Rams or something in Los Angeles. I'm not really sure. I don't know. A very pretty lady with a Birkin bag. You see his thumb with his two Cartier bracelets. I think his shirt actually even says D. Lucky on it. But you're probably saying, who is this pretty woman? And who is that guy on the bottom right? That is Vegas Dave. If you don't know Vegas Dave, you should look him up. He allegedly runs some of his own charging people to do sports betting or something. You you guys know I don't know the sports or anything like that or how any of that works. Um, but I guess that's his girlfriend or, or his wife. There are ties between Vegas Dave and D-Lucky. I don't exactly know, but I don't never present things to you guys unless I have facts. But there is some type of connection between Vegas Dave and D-Lucky. I'm not sure exactly what it is, and maybe I will find out one day. Maybe I won't. Maybe I already know, and I just keep it as my ace in the hole. I do know cards, but I don't know sports. But we'll see what happens down the road. This is just going to get more interesting. I think that D-Lucky is very bad for the community, as you can see what has happened with Cosmopolitan. That was all D-Lucky's doing, having them shut down live streaming a casino that was completely open. You could walk in and live stream on the casino floor. You didn't need any type of approval to now they're, they seem like they're really strict about it. And things like this are going to continue to happen when you have a guy going into casinos with people and he's charging them $1,700 to gamble with him. It's very sad the route that this slot community is taking, and it's only getting worse, and it's probably just going to continue to get worse. And I am only one person with uh, a small team, and I can't do it all by myself. And people need to call out bullshit when they see it. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you have an idea for the next video. I have a few in mind. I have been taking it easy, but I'm going to get back into the Stella's got her groove back. Don't you worry. So like this video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next one. But um, D-Lucky has something to tell all of you. Toodaloo, motherfucker. Hey, you, you, you.